In part two of the exporting your circuit board, I'm going to show you how to bring it into Illustrator and work with it in Illustrator so that we can prepare it for uh, photo transfer methods, either using um, the traditional light exposure or um, doing it on the laser cutter. So I've set up my document here and I'm going to place and find those images. So I'm going to go into and I'm going to start with just my flashlight circuit PNG and this is the one that just has the layers or the layer with the components so you'll see when I zoom in it's not a very good quality picture so if I just try and do a trace image on it I've tried it and honestly the the results aren't great so uh, I'm gonna manually create this circuit board but with a few quick tips I can make this a pretty easy process so um, we're going to use the circle tool to create all the circuit pads so by using the circuit tool and holding shift and alt it will create a perfect circle from the center and all I'm going to do is match the approximate size of the circle that I'm basing my trace off of and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to replicate this. So by clicking on it with your black selector arrow and holding the Alt button down, you'll see this double arrow appears and you can just grab and trace it. If you hold the Shift button down as you move, it will lock it into a sideways um, direction or a down direction. And if you use Control D after you do that, it's for duplicate and I can just quickly duplicate these and move them wherever I want. Okay, so that's a really quick way to just replicate that same circle. So now I'm going to take this one, hold the Alt button, and drag it down, pop it into place there. This one, Alt button, drag it, pop it into place there. If they're not exactly the same size, it's not really that big a deal. You've got lots of room on your artboard to work with. So I'm just going to replicate all over the place here using this Duplicate button. Okay. So you would continue to do that for the components down here. Uh, these circles that are much bigger, again, I would just take my duplicate button, put it roughly in the center, and then if you hold Shift and Alt and grab a corner, it will expand it from the middle, again, lined up in the exact same, or with the exact same um, scaling factor, so in other words, it'll stay a circle. Um, and again, I'm going to use my Alt. For the box down here, the square part of my power, I'm just going to grab a box. And if you hold the Shift button, it will drag it from a corner in a perfect square. And let me just move that around. OK. And so you can fine tune and adjust all the circles. For the tracing pattern of the actual lines, you're going to grab the Pen tool and we're going to start and create our traces with the pen tool. Now before we do this, what we want to do is we want to set up the stroke prior to doing all the tracing, otherwise it gets really messy. So uh, I think about four point is pretty good. Yeah, not bad. And there's my first trace and I'm going to hit escape. And basically what I can do now is just create the traces. And again, uh, Shortcuts like the shift key or hotkeys like the shift key will just lock things so that they're perfectly vertical. So if I go down here and bring it down to here and I hold the shift key, it will just keep it in a vertical alignment. And then I can just zoom in and out and I can work my way along until I create the trace patterns for the entire circuit. Each time I need to let go, just hit escape and it will let go of the line and then I can start a new line. So I'm going to quickly go and recreate all these traces. Oh, you can see up here I didn't actually hit the escape button. So I'm just going to go like this, delete that node, and with the white one is where you can fine tune stuff. So, oops, control Z, I'm just going to make sure I click this so I've got the white node and if I bring it up like that, I, I've just created it that way. So now you're going to go and finish the rest of the traces. Once you've completed all of the traces and the landing pads and you're ready to move on, what we're going to do is we're going to take and just replicate the 
box of the outline of the circuit board itself. And we just want to put this with no fill and probably a really small, <coughs> excuse me, black stroke on here. There we go. And then we can grab the picture from underneath and just remove it out of the way. So here's the circuit board design. Now there's a couple things we have to do uh, to this. So the first thing we're going to do is we want to select just all of the stuff on the inside. So we're not going to touch the outside box. We're going to select all the things on the inside and we need to go to the object and that menu and the path and outline stroke. And what this does is it changes those lines into having a stroke around the outside so that when I actually shrink this to the right size, um, it's going to make sure that those lines shrink with it. Okay. Then I'm going to select the entire thing and I'm going to group it all. And then I'm going to go to the transform and I'm going to make this the size that it's supposed to be. So we know from our original design that it's 15 by 30. Okay, so I'm just going to take this and unlock that and hit 30 and go enter. Whoopsies, what was that? Oh, 130. 30. And this is the design for our circuit board. What we want to do is replicate this several times. Um, so we're going to put it up, you know, an inch down from the top and the side just so the printer can print it without any problem. And by holding the Alt key and then the Shift key, we're going to move it over and I'm just going to go control duplicate. I'm going to do four of them spread out somewhat, you know, somewhat evenly on the page. And I can now delete this. So this is going to provide the actual printing that we need for the circuit board. The problem with this right now is that there's nothing to tell us what the circuit board actually looks like in real life or at least the components. So we're going to go and grab and we are going to place and we're going to go find the circuit component diagram and we're going to place this in and we're just going to stick it underneath this uh, our other diagrams here and this is just the reference for us to know what resistors where our switch is where our power and is you know with a really complicated circuit it would be very difficult to figure this out without the circuit diagram the last thing i want you to do is just to make sure that you take and put your name on this somewhere and the name of the circuit Once you've created this, you can print this to the printer and show this circuit to your instructor. And from there, we will transfer it on to transparency and move forward with the actual circuit production process.